Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this white barn candle review slash comparison And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome back. So you guys quick little out-of-frame video today I wasn't really intending on filming today, but I wound up doing a candle exchange yesterday. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I posted about this and this is Flamingo Beach. I know I'm a little late to the party on this one. It came out about a month ago or so. A little bit different packaging. Online, it's like a, a neon pink with almost a graphic. But uh, I walked in store, was looking at the candles to swap out. And I go, oh my gosh, that's at first I thought this was a new fragrance. And then I saw that it was Flamingo Beach in a different type of package. So um, it was the first time I actually had smelt Flamingo Beach. I know I've seen uh, Tiva, Tina Delicious had a video up. He compared it to Pink Sands. Um, so I gave it a whiff and I absolutely loved it. If you guys have watched my um, Pink Sands Yankee Candle Bold video, you'll see that I kind of have a newfound love for Pink Sands. So I decided to go with Flamingo Beach and exchanged out one of my candles that was kind of dudding out on me for this scent. And I love it. I burned it yesterday. It's so pretty, you guys. Um, I have to agree with Tina Delicious and the fact that it, it smells very, very, very similar to Pink Sands. Um, I have never burned Pink Sands in the past up until I burnt my Pink Sands Bold. So I can't really comment on the strength of like a Pink Sands jar, a Pink Sands regular tumbler or anything like that because the Pink Sands I have burned did have a decent throw. But I do have to say that between the two, between the Bath & Body Works Flamingo Beach 3 Wick and hold on, my camera gets shaky. I have this right here. I'm gonna have side-by-side -side comparison here. Yankee Candle Bold Pink Sands Smooth Wax. I do have a review up of this. Between the two of these, I would say the throw, this is gonna sound crazy, but they're very, very similar. This one's a two wick, whereas obviously this is a three wick. Very similar. I would prefer the Flamingo Beach in a larger room over this one just because this is a two wick. But they both threw about the same. For the Flamingo Beach, 1 to 10, 10, of course, being super crazy strong, pumpkin pecan waffle strength, um, I'd be giving Flamingo Beach a solid 7, 6.5, 7. Um, more on the 6.5 side in a larger room. I did have it also going in a smaller room, and it was, it was beautiful. Um, I would say to me, Flamingo Beach is a little more of like a candied sweet berry scent versus that sweet melon scent that you get out of, say, Pink Sands. Let me read you the notes for Flamingo Beach. This is per the bottom of the jar. So the notes for Flamingo Beach are pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white petals. I don't get a floral note from this at all. To me, it smells almost identical to Pink Sands. I, that is the best way to describe it. So would I purchase this again? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think this would pair really pretty with like a juicy, bright citrus fragrance. Um, well, there is citrus and orange listed in the note to me, I don't get like a, I really don't get like a lemony, citrusy, orangey scent. It's just bright, fruity, um, and sweet. Really pretty, much different than the sweet artificialness you get out of say like a watermelon lemonade at least to me but i would purchase it again um i would even get the wallflowers in this i don't know if they have a soap in this or not but i will definitely be using this this summer so you guys um quick little video just wanted to hop on here for you if you guys have tried flamingo beach or if you are a fan of pink sands there we go. Pink sands. Comment down below. Let me know if you have used both and what your thoughts are. You guys, before I sign off, I want to let you know I am on Instagram. Come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. You guys, I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.